Would you rather find out your girl is cheating on you or your girl is trying to kill you? Which one would you rather have? <laughs> your girlfriend cheating on you or your girlfriend is trying to kill you? Um, <laughs> I think I'd rather her try to kill me low key. Because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, she, she look at me crazy. This, like, <laughs> like, 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 think about this, right? She cheat on me with that nigga, where I sleep with a nigga. I, I break up with her, she gonna still be doing the same shit. She is not, it's not gonna change. If she try to kill me, I get her caught, she go to jail, her, her life is ruined. <laughs> this is what she get. <laughs> this is what she, that's what I'm saying. Hearing that would be crazy. Yeah, though. hearing that would be yeah. like if I see her like with the knife like right here to my face and I have to stop, that'll be crazy. <laughs> but at least I know that that is that is about to happen. That is about to happen. But like if I like find her like walking on her cheating on me and shall I leave her, she's still gonna do the same shit. <laughs> like living her life, she's gonna forget about it in a, in a little bit. But if if I <laughs> if she tried to kill me, she go to jail and now she thinks now. Now she realized it was a whole mistake. (laughs) Her life is ruined. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode number. You know what number this is, my brother? No clue. (laughs) (laughs) Episode number 125. That's a whole lot of episodes, a whole lot of pods. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got one of my co-hosts, one of my brothers. You haven't seen him this year, but you want to introduce yourself, my brother? Biggish, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Ish is in the building. He hasn't been here in a minute, but you know he's back. He got a lot of shit to talk about. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Before we start, you know, I've been we've been threatening him for the last three weeks to like the video, and it's been working. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I swear, it's been working, bro. Niggas have been getting to 50 likes every every pod. So, like I said... 50 likes on this podcast or this nigga issues at your door immediately. You know it. Immediately. You see that shit in his cup? He going to have that cup in his hand and something else in the other hand. If you don't (laughs) like that shit immediately, bro. uh, Follow all the socials down below. New content coming soon. Gaming content. Follow us on on Twitch. We're going to start doing live live pods, gaming pods, gaming, uh, reaction shits. You know, we got a lot of shit planned. We're just going to get... We have to get everything, you know, situated and stuff. But yeah, new content coming 2024. And yeah, bro. And, oh, hold on. We got to talk about this first. Ish was telling me before the pod started that he has his new resolution for 2024 that he wants to share with everybody. So what do you want to share with the people, my brother? Hey, bro. You know, everybody want to say it every year, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm out to work out. Nah, bro. It starts... Start with what you eat. Real shit. Do your homework on what you eat. Real shit, bro. New diets. Yeah, this is a pescatarian. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. You know my uncle's a pescatarian? Type shit. But I seen that nigga. Slash vegetarian on the way. On, on the, the way, way? On the way there. On the way. Like hard, you're work, but. You're working your way to vegetarian? Yeah. Like so, even some days, there's some days that I don't I don't eat fish. Really? Yeah, just straight um, so, salads and... Fruits, bro. Wow. So, do you be hungry? Like, like how many weeks have you been doing this for? Shit. I mean, like since the year started. Low key before, but yeah, I stopped eating like, like chicken and stuff. Really? The hardest thing. Everything else I've been cool with because yeah. I ain't eat like much. Any, I don't, never really ate pork like that. Yeah. Um, beef only like burgers and stuff yeah but chicken has been like the hardest thing really the chicken that shit is, <laughs> like i just crave you know some wings or some Dang. chicken sandwich but you get it that's back. the hardest thing but besides that um that's good though yeah nah so is it like so what type of fish do you usually eat like can you eat like <clears throat> uh like uh seafood and stuff like, like yeah but i tried not even to be fully uh, pescatarian because that's not good because um, fish have a lot of mercury in them. Ah. So, like, yeah, that's why I said, like, you know, some days I be eating fish, some days I just try to eat, like, greens or something. Really? But, yeah, like, Damn. at first, you just got to find stuff that, like, you like mm-hmm. and that really fills you up. Okay, okay. And that gives you, um, energy, like, nutrients Nutrient, and stuff. Nutrients, yeah. Okay, so... So like, give me so say you so give me like your daily like food for the day, like when you wake up until like when you about to go to sleep. 
Oh yeah, another thing too. Um, breakfast is low key a myth. What do you mean it's a myth? <laughs> like, like, you know how they be like they be trying to be like, oh, um, you know, breakfast is most um the most meal important day. meal of the day. Low yeah. key is cap. Like they say you shouldn't even say you shouldn't even eat when you get up. Mm-hmm. They said. When your body is sleeping, you're low key um, fasting. Yeah, yeah. So they said, honestly, we being trained to wake up in the morning and, and eat, eat is like fake. Like we can literally wait till at least, mm-hmm. at least like brunch time or like lunch like time. two like two o'clock three o'clock. No, nah, even like eleven twelve. But like, you don't need something immediately in like, the morning. As soon as you like, wake you should up? be able to wake up and just have like a little bit of energy. Like really, because. Yeah. I, I heard that too, low key. Like you know, you know. Or if you do have something in the morning, just light, like, like something, something small, that just nothing. gives you energy, like a smoothie or something. Like I've been like eating like a smoothie. I mean, drinking like a smoothie sometimes in the yeah. morning, or just having like a, a like thing of fruit or something. That that shit, you it don't seem like it'll like fill you up, but if you like eat like a good amount a good of amount, it, yeah, bro, that's you'll good be though. All right. Cause I no, I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't eat breakfast either. Yeah, like, like I try not to eat breakfast. Like I do, cause mm. I, like I told you, I be fasting and shit. So like I usually like after like I eat, like I'll put like a timer and like until like usually from like sixteen hours to twenty hours, that's when I'll start eating. And that's usually so. Say I I'll stop eating around like seven eight o'clock, and yeah. then I'll go eat again the next day, probably around like twelve. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's good. Like you're not even supposed to you know eat really late and that's, shit. That's crazy, cause I know, like. I feel like once you get used to it, like in the beginning, of course, it's going to suck because you're going to be mad hungry. But like once of you get course. used to it, you're going to like, it's going to be like normal. Because like, right, like for me, I I really don't like eating breakfast. Like it hurts my stomach sometimes. Yeah. Like I just, eating a lot of breakfast foods just, it's not, not good really for good for you. Like you mm-hmm. think it is like, nah. You know what I heard? Like why like breakfast became a thing? It's because like, you know, the meat industry, whatever is like mm-hmm. a, how it's a big industry. So I guess they made like a. A propaganda campaign saying like how breakfast is the most important meal of the day just so they can sell more like like meat products like uh, bacon sausage ham and shit like that so Bro, if you want to get your mind right if you want to be enlightened i'm telling you the watch uh what's the health what's the what was that on netflix nah but it's on you got you kind of gotta like find it type. oh really but it came out only in uh 2017, so it's not that. It's not old. It's not crazy old, but 2017 is when it came out, and it's mm-hmm. just, it's crazy. It's, that shit enlightened you, bro? Yeah, bro. Okay. You'll so, learn a lot. If you don't believe what I'm saying now, hey, watch the movie. You know, people want to say, oh, movies this. I watched that movie, and that shit was. Damn. Shit was crazy. I know you don't, you you stop eating fast food in general. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I, re- I was already, you know, making the. Progress. Making the. Uh, yeah, like the transition and shit. Yeah. So, all right. So, so tell me, like, what but you. But it's not today. easy though. It's not. Easy. It really isn't. Like, I know, cause I feel like fast that's food. That's what I'm and saying. Shit, even getting to vegetarian is gonna be very, very hard. That's but, what I'm trying to, yo, because it's like fast food be be so convenient. Yeah, that's the thing, and you know, cooking food and doing all that. It like takes a lot of time and shit. Yeah, but it's it's been helping me though too, cause um. My new girl that I'm talking to with, she yeah, she be cooking a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so does she do it with you, or does she still be? <laughs> yeah, like oh, she does I'll too. Like, give her something, and then she'll just she'll go crazy. Oh, so that's tough though. So yeah. do you like meal prep? Like make the meals ahead of time so it'll be quicker, or um, you just like I try to if I have time, but like most of the time I don't be having time. So like, I'll just grab something that's like you quick? know like quick like. Instead of grabbing like some fast food, I'll try to go to like low key like pliables or like uh, uh, smoothie okay. king or some shit. That shit gonna run you some money. Oh yeah, no, that shit's it's gonna bread. run you some money. But bread. at this point, and that's another thing people try to say too. You mm-hmm. know, you know how you how you doing this change? Isn't it so much money to eat fish? Because fish could be expensive. Yeah. Fruits and mm-hmm. vegetables are definitely Sanity expensive. Bread. Yeah, but um, really like when you look. When you look at it, like the same price you paying for like hella chicken wings and mm-hmm. steaks. It's like the same bro, thing. It's literally like the same thing as fruits and, and vegetables. At least it's better for you. Yeah, it's bro. It's more healthier like, for you. Dang, like the bro. movie, it just breaks down. Like I'm not going to get into it, you know, because mm-hmm. people, you, you just got to watch the movie. But like it just breaks down like what eating these certain foods do and stuff. And like and how it like affects, affects your body you later on. And 
they even have something like people in there like yo people facing like crazy like Health diseases problems? and conditions like that you know the doctors don't know what it is no nah, they know what it is like you know this one lady had like bad like crazy diabetes and you know mm -hmm. you always think you go to the doctors and they give They'll you medicine you, yeah but the medicine is just like for temporary and it makes you worse. Like, dang, that's kind of sucks, bro. And then she just changed her diet and it was crazy. She had like diabetes. She had like this other cancer. She had like mad other stuff. And then she, she stopped eating whatever she was eating before. And bro, and like, that's what I'm saying. If you stop eating stuff, you would think, you know, oh, it's not going to affect me right away, bro. Go a whole couple days without eating no chicken or nothing you gonna feel totally different like instantly like so do you, instantly do you feel do you personally feel better yeah like and that's another thing too like when you eat fast food you know when you eat fast food you begin the itis bro yeah, like yeah. you're not low-key when you eat when you get filled up pause um <laughs> you um you're, not you're supposed, supposed to, to not feel tired you're supposed to have energy yeah like. so you've been getting you've been feeling like more energy lately yeah bro i mean damn that's tough i might start i might have to do that shit bro Hey, bro, if if not, you know, just try it. It's, it doesn't work for everybody, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, hey, bro, it's not that bad. So what, so what did you eat today? Today? Yeah. Um, today I had some fish. Yeah. But yesterday, yesterday I, it was cool. Yesterday I had some, um, I think I had some soup. Mm hmm And I had, um, I had like some some rice and some salad later on and that's what i'm saying like you just gotta find everything else that has like that that fills up the nutrients like mm. people think everything protein is from you know meat and stuff now but like protein from beans. from beans yeah i i like beans so i had hella uh. beans yesterday and that shit stuff is filling bro okay so does your parents also do it like are they trying to stop eating meat too or do they still be cooking meat in the crib my dad was the one that put me on this and my my mom and my brother they're like they're, starting they're on the fence they're ah, on the fence okay. but like, it's hard that's it what i'm saying hard. it's hard but they didn't watch it though they didn't watch the, the movie, movie though Did your dad put you on the movie too yeah he was he be trying to get everybody to watch it because he he been doing this shit at least it's going on months now it might almost be a year soon since mm. the last time he had like meat it's but um oh man yeah, bro, that's that's the plan for. That's the plan for twenty twenty four. No, no. For the rest of the for rest, rest of the life, life, but that's tough. That's tough though. That's that resolution, bro. That's good though, bro. I'm Starting glad. off real healthy. I'm you know? glad you because I definitely I need to get working out. I definitely need to get working out in there too. But gonna start with my diet first, and then of course you gotta work out too. Yeah, you know if you don't move your muscles, them shit's just gonna ache, get fucked up over a while, and just gonna you gonna corrode. Yeah, like, that's true. You I, gotta, you gotta move. You gotta move. Bro, get to why the fuck you keep walking over here, bro? I, Cause I know you ever seen like people that like get cancer and like the, instead of getting like the doctor treatment, they'll go to like a freaking like another country and like eat like uh, eat like over there, and they'll freaking um get a lot better. Yeah, bro. that's why yo, that's why the Japanese and the Asian people they live longer because all they do is eat fish and vegetables, bro. They don't eat, they barely eat bro, meat over they there. They eat, they eat. That's the thing too, like. We don't know where all this stuff comes from. Like, yeah, the, the amount the of GMOs, the, just think bro. about it. Just think about it. The amount of people in the United States where where is all this food coming from? Exactly. Honestly, there's no, like, exactly all there's this so much. Remember when there was a shortage, a shortage in chicken? Yes, and places there it's, were still places that were still selling chicken like it was nothing. no tomorrow. Like, it was like, nothing. There was no, there's no way. This shit is hey, bro. There's I'm no way saying. I don't know. So you gotta watch the movie, bro. It will, uh, it will, it will, it will, it will show. But then, but then, why people watch the movie? It's like ah, uh, it's like it's, it's like it's still hard to to make that decision to. Yeah, but I feel like you know, you know, to build a habit, it takes two months. So yeah, once you get two anything. months into it, you'll be straight. Yeah, that's good though, man. I'm I'm glad you're doing that. You're uh, being healthy for the for the rest of your life, but that's tough, man. Type shit, trying to live a long life, you know. Hey, man, are you drinking more water? Hell yeah. Like, do you try to drink a gallon a day type shit? Hell yeah. I always drink a lot of water. I always try to drink more. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do too. Like, you see that little blue jug? I be trying to finish that every day. Type but shit, But now yeah. I got this new bottle, bro. Shout out to all the people 
at Bottle Joy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. They sponsoring the videos from now on. But we don't got a code yet. But if you guys need a bottle, <laughs> link in the not link in the bio yet. Probably next episode we're gonna we're still discussing terms and shit like that. Great bottle. You see the design on this motherfucker. They got different colors. They got a, they got one that look like a panda, bro. <laughs> I was about to get that, but they said nah. So they got many colors, probably about like 10 colors. So copy one. Tell them no regular century. We're going to have a code soon. But thank you for sponsoring us, Bottle Joy. But oh, I got man. something we could talk about, bro. So I have a Q&A segment. We're going to start the pod with a Q&A segment. I had a poll on Instagram, or we put a poll on Instagram. And you guys, you know, talked to us, gave us some topics and things to talk about. So if you, we're going to do, we're gonna, I'm going to try to do this at least like once a week. Type shit. Every, try to do it every pie, maybe a couple times a week to see what people want us to hear, want us to talk about. So, you want to hear what they asked? They are some sick people in this world, <laughs> not going to lie. So, they said, would you rather find out your girl is cheating on you oh. or your girl is trying to kill you? Which one would you rather <laughs> have? Your girlfriend cheating on you or your girlfriend is trying to kill you? Um... <laughs> Um, I think I'd rather her try to kill me, low key. Because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, she she look at me crazy. Think, <laughs> like, look, 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 think about this, right? Think about <laughs> think about it like this, right? God forbid, she cheat on me with another nigga, where I sleep with a nigga. I, I break up with her. She gonna still be doing the same shit. She it's not it's not gonna change. If she try to kill me, I get her caught. She go to jail. Her her life is ruined. <laughs> this is what she get. <laughs> this is what she, that's what I'm saying. I feel, but if it's like, like yeah, no, she's not gonna kill me though. There's no, shit, the only, but you, hearing that would be crazy. Yeah, though. hearing that would be yeah. like if I see her like with the knife like right here to my face, and I have to stop. That would be crazy. <laughs> but at least I know that that is that is about to happen. That is about to happen. But like if I like find her like walking on her cheating on me and shall leave her, she's still gonna do the same shit. <laughs> Look, like living her life, she gonna forget about it in a, in a little bit. But if if I if she tried to kill me, she go to jail, and now she thinks now now she realized it was a whole mistake. Now her <laughs> life is ruined. I, look, I can look, I can enjoy it now, bro. Nah, I'm saying, bro, because it's like yo, think about it, bro. It's like the only way she gonna get me though is if she put some shit in my food. <laughs> she said put some shit in my. Because she food. know I just be I be eating right. Like I'll see some shit on the table, I eat it, bro. If she put like bleach or oh, yeah, that's the easy that's the easy way out. It's of done, here. I'm done. Yeah. But, yeah, I think I would do the same. Kill it. <laughs> it's not, you gotta, you gotta. Cheating is wild, bro. Cheating is so wild. I, it, I hit, it hit different. We don't condone cheating on this channel, bro. We are all faithful, loyal men on this channel. Don't not you? Have, all, don't bring that all. cheating shit over here, bro. Good question though, but don't bring that cheating shit over here. All right, <laughs> That's a good question. So uh, another question that we have is: Is NBA YoungBoy our generation of Michael Jackson? Crazy. <laughs> I know. Hey, yo, what, what take? <laughs> that is a crazy take, and I know you might you you, you you're wilding, bro. NBA young boy is not even close. <laughs> that nigga is not even like the two. The fans gonna get you. Ass. I understand. I understand. <laughs> they love NBA young boy, but that nigga is not Michael Jackson. In my in my opinion, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with that take. But I mean, who, who you think it would be though? Um. It gotta be like Drake or somebody. Yeah, or maybe uh Chris Brown. I was gonna say Chris Brown He's a too. Good performer, yeah. I was gonna say and Chris Brown too, of... but he hit Rihanna. He would never live that down, bro. He was supposed True. To, he would he would have been I feel like he would have been bigger than Drake right now, but ever since he like ever since he hit hit that woman, bro, it's been like like he would never get over yeah, that. Yeah, but I mean I don't know, bro. The it was people, to, people still love Chris Brown till this day. I ain't. Going but I feel lie. like a lot of people stopped liking him after that. Yeah, bro. you know what I'm saying. Niggas became ASAP Rocky and Rihanna fans after that, bro. <laughs> but I think NBA Young Boy's crazy. NBA Young Boy is like the niggas. Not, I would say he's definitely very influential. Very but, influential. But Michael Jackson, not Michael nah. Jackson. Level. Michael Jackson had like the whole world like singing. Like niggas in Antarctica and shit was, was no one Michael Jackson. And, Nobody. Like, I feel like I feel like NBA Young Boy stops at around like <laughs> like maybe Mexico. Maybe and no UK, UK, UK. Niggas in the UK. They don't part. got no um YB um fans the, the the Asian countries. Hell no. Yeah. No, no, no. Ooh, maybe. They might be. They bro. might be like in China. They but might, might go crazy. But they like they definitely gotta be in the hood. Definitely gotta be in the hood. They head ass, bro. They're definitely some head ass Asian niggas that, that look black. 
Like you know them, you ever seen them Asian niggas that be getting perms and shit? That shit be crazy, bro. They be crazy, but they look I like light skin niggas. One dude, bro. It was this this Asian dude, bro. This man, this man redid his whole hair. I don't know what he did. They gave him dreads. Yes, bro. I seen that I was shit. Like, this nigga looks like D Rose. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that nigga looked light skinned, bro. Yes, he had tats. Yeah. Nigga looked like a 2K player. Nah. I'm like, nah, son. Nigga really, nigga tweaked on his VC, bro. Yeah, he gave him that full VC. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, another one they wanted us to talk about was the Meg and Nicki Minaj beef that's going on. So, do you know what's happening? Because, honestly, I really am not in tune on what's going on. I don't be caring, but... um, Is it really that bad? I don't know, but, you know, I never really hated Meg Thee Stallion, but, like, you know, I just knew there had to be something off because, like, bruh. Free my nigga Tory, bro. He definitely free Tory. He didn't do that but, shit. But, um, she just been with mad people in the industry. Like, she got a new boyfriend, like, every other, every, like, every other six couple months. months. Yeah. Didn't she just you break know, up with her other boyfriend? Was named Party or whatever. Yeah, and you just be hearing mad stuff about, about her. Yeah, like that is true. I don't know. Nikki tweaked since, on her though. Nah, she did. She did violate her. What she said, like a lead footed bitch or something like that. She just said something about her foot. I can't remember what she said. It was all over Twitter. It's like I do feel bad because it's like everybody's against her and stuff. But like, it got to be a reason now. Like, mm-hmm. like I said, she had mad celebrity boyfriends. I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that freaking. Everybody There's mad it. people that have mad celebrity boyfriends, but like, but it's like they be saying stuff about her. Like it, it yeah, ends badly. It yeah, ends badly. Like a lot of the dudes I was with her. I mean, they not with her for a reason. Exactly, and they Shit. always, bro. That nigga, that nigga party made a song talking about some fuck this bitch. She she did me wrong, something like that. I guess so. I, there's always two sides to the story, so we never know, bro. bro me personally, like, bro, like just. Bro, the stuff that she raps about and stuff, like I would not, I would not take serious? take her serious. I don't like, know. I would not take. I kind of blame serious. niggas at themselves for like you know expecting her to be something else. I mean, you hear what the fuck she be talking about? Exactly, like, exactly. But hey, man, Team Nikki on this side though. Fuck Meg. Thee always fuck Meg the Stallion, bro. Yeah. All right. So another one. They said if you can only eat three food, three foods for the rest of your life, what are you eating? Easy fruits, vegetables, um, any fruits and vegetables. Any spe- anything specific? Shit. Um, f- favorite fruits: oranges, mangoes. Fucking um, that's not bad though. That's not, that's a pretty good line. Of oranges, mangoes, strawberries. So th- those Bro, are any those anything. Are only, those are only three things you eat in. Um. Yeah, I could survive off that. <laughs> I could survive. What is that called? Is that called? That's called something. What? Like when you just eat straight fruit. I forgot what that's called. I don't think that's. I don't know. Tell but what's that called? That's tough. Dang. So you just eat mangoes, oranges, and strawberries. Yeah, but I need I need other more uh, nutritional values. So take out. So which one would you take out of those three if you had to pick, put one more in there? Um. Maybe strawberries and put like fucking, I don't know, beans or something else that something. gives a different other uh, nutrient like protein or they... some carbs or something in there. See, th- now this nigga, <laughs> this nigga been talking all healthy. Now, now my answers is wild. <laughs> my answers is crazy now. This nigga was making it. Now I'm going to seem like a fat ass nigga, bro. All right. Hey, bro. Go crazy, bro. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a pick pizza. <laughs> Pizza's elite. My my Chipotle order. If I I could live off that one Chipotle order, bro. Damn, you don't even eat Chipotle no more. That's, That's the thing. Wild. Chipotle's been That's hard. really hard because, <laughs> like I said, that shit. But they had this one thing at Cadol, but it was only for a limited time though. But they had like you know how they do the 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 chicken bowl. They had yeah. shrimp, like spicy shrimp, fucking really. Uh, for like busted? a limited time, yeah. Why don't you try? They have um, they have uh, vegan uh, vegetarian options at Chipotle. It's called So So Yo, uh, this place I, I had in um, I think it's New Brunswick. What was it called? Have you ever heard of that shit called um, Honey Grow? I think I've heard of that before. What? Bro, it's basically like, it's not a v- vegan place, but it's like um, healthier. 
I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a Chipotle style place, but it's like with with noodles and like rice and shit. So like oh, okay. you order all the shit, but it could be like it could be like that shit gonna be like twenty dollars just it's, for like one thing. But it's like Is it a lot? So healthy. Yeah, it's it comes in like a you know them cartons when you order Chinese food? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. It comes in one of those and then if you spill like pour the whole thing out, bro. It's like the size of like a fat ass plate. Oh, really? So but it's like good. it's like um, I say Chipotle style because you like customize it, but it's like a noodles and like rice place. So you like make bowls and mm-hmm. yeah, it's rice or noodles, and you put whatever you put. They got chicken and beef, yeah, and stuff, but they also they have, have like fish and shrimp or just straight vegan and. Bro, that shit is. Where'd you find it on like Instagram or some shit? Nah, uh, it's um near my girl crib and stuff. Oh, okay, but okay. It's in New Brunswick though, I think. It's called Honey Grow, but yo, that That's just shit rocking. is. Yeah, and it's super healthy, but yeah, for two people, like two of them shits, it'll definitely run you like forty dollars. But it's it's like but, healthy though. Nah, it's a hundred percent healthy. Like Ooh. I got so many, I got noodles, I got so many vegetables. And shit, like I was just adding the toppings. As you add the more toppings, though, it gets more expensive. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like yeah. they charge you for literally every topping or anything. But like, damn, bro, it's I, all fresh and shit. And it's like that's crazy, bro. I have never really, I've shit. never seen you like this, bro. <laughs> this hey, bro, bro, I know you since what sixth grade, bro. Yeah, bro. The only thing Ish has never ate is like pork, cause nigga don't he don't eat no pork. And the nigga don't eat like no milk or cheese, but this like I'm not, I, like what are we gonna eat? What are you gonna eat when we go to Jordan crib? Hey, bro, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> like what are we gonna? I'm, uh, yeah, bro, that's 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 uh that's tough. Yeah, that's what I do <laughs> everywhere now. That's why I don't know. I be making sure I eat before I go places or they, or like bring food. If or I whatever. go some places, I be trying to see what they got before. Ah, oh, dang! Like, well, you know how when we have at Jordan's crib, his dad be on the barbecue yeah. with the fucking steaks and shit. Yeah, he going crazy. I'm gonna oh. miss. I'm gonna miss that. Shit gonna but smell busting, but it's all worth it. It's all yeah, gonna be worth it. Right. That's good. It's bro. all right. That's good, bro. Starting now, nigga, gonna make me be healthy. <laughs> but I said Chipotle. My Chipotle order pizza and water just to be even healthier all right i don't know who i don't know who put this down there but i have a girlfriend but they said your favorite celebrity crush celebrity crush um hype beast but um ice spice <laughs> but i mean i don't i'm not really uh i don't really care about celebrities i don't really care about none of that of course stuff, not really Hey, bro. But there's a lot of people that really do, you know, fan. Like, even my favorite artists, like, yeah, I'll go see them in concert and stuff. Definitely do all. I support them. But Mm -hmm. do I wish to ever meet them? I mean, it would be cool one day. But, I mean, I don't. That's not my wish, my dying wish. Yeah, that's wild. (laughs) People people be (laughs) dying. (laughs) People be dying and sell their soul, sell everything they got just to meet one person that don't even give a fuck about you, don't know you. Exactly. Spend all day bread just to go to a meeting. Like, yeah, group. I don't give a fuck how much times I listen to Lil Uzi or somebody else. Do I care to meet them? You know, I mean, it'll be cool, but I don't. I really don't give a fuck. Like you know, what I mean, niggas probably fiend over to go to those to get invited to those twenty v one shits with the celebrity girls, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, that shit's od. Like nah, but hey, mine is way better than yours. <laughs> Kelly Oubre, yeah. What? The- <laughs> that is a handsome man, and that is my celebrity crush. Thank you for asking that question. <laughs> um, so, somebody asked, what is our Super Bowl predictions? So, the Super Bowl is should be, by the time y'all watch this, I think that's when the Pro, the Pro Bowl comes out. But the Super Bowl is going to be next week. I don't even be watching sports like that no more. But Do you know who's in it, though? Honestly, Chiefs. Like If Chiefs win it, that's like... That's... I, I it's, It might be Chiefs, but I don't want it to be Chiefs so badly, bro. That's another thing too. Like be that's what I'm saying. Me, I don't bro. be caring. I don't be. All right, go ahead. What'd you say, bro? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's it called? Like, I don't know. I just be feeling like so much shit is just, it's just ass nowadays. Like everything is trash. Like it yeah. sounds weird, but like, I don't know. I don't care about. Is it because the Lakers sucks? Sports. I. Ah, <laughs> this, this, this guy because the Lakers, <laughs> bro. Braun is amazing. I don't. I don't even care about the Lakers. Oh hell, Braun, bro. Braun's amazing, but <laughs> Lakers is mid. We are mid. Lakers is mid, but nah. I just feel like sports is trash. Like even 
I don't care. Like, bro, I feel the- like everything is rigged. You you seen that nigga? Uh, it's that uh. That nigga Shakur, I don't know if it was real or not. That nigga Shakur said he about to retire. What the boxer? Nigga from Newark. Yeah, he about to retire boxing. Why? He said it's uh, it's, it's it's trash. Really? Yeah. Why? He tweeted literally yesterday or two days ago, like I'm about to retire from the sport of boxing. He's like, the boxing game is not nah, as good. Lame niggas is trash. Wow, that's wild, bro. The niggas like our age. How the fuck? Yeah, niggas, you know? niggas in the comments like, nigga, you retiring as a rookie. Like, <laughs> niggas was frying him. What but the fuck like, you about to do? That nigga, about, oh, he about to be a YouTuber. Uh, I don't he know. He's gonna be a streamer, calling it. He has been trying to, you know, he's been trying to do his. He been trying to fight. Javante. Big, big niggas like niggas that's up there, and I don't know. He it hasn't been going through. I don't know. It's a lot it's of him. politics with boxing. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of politics. So, but I feel like that about everything though. That's why I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'll watch. A game or whatever, but nigga, I don't NFL. really care to keep track of it like that anymore. Nigga, the NFL is fucking rigged, bro. When the when the Chiefs beat the ball, the Ravens, bro, that shit felt racist. Everything rigged, bro. That shit was crazy, it's bro. When Lamar folded, the fucking Lions folded. That shit was crazy yeah. work, bro. But I want the 49ers to win, bro. I don't want Patrick Mahomes to win, just cause he's he's getting to, he's he's starting to get on the level of like fucking like Curry. And That's what I'm saying. It's like the Warriors like going back. To back, like, it's just... That nigga was a starter for six years, and he's been to the conference finals every year since he was starting. That's OD. Just because he's light-skinned, bro. You won't let, you won't let a, a fully black man do that. That's crazy work. And, ta- yo, just seeing Taylor Swift happy... Yo, they said that motherfucker generated, like, since she been... She generated, like, 400 mil for... For the team so far. Really? Just for her, yeah. That shit's fucking rigged, bro. I'm telling y'all. You see this shit? That shit's crazy work. But, hey, man. And, all right. I got to... Ooh, I, I, I was waiting for this question. So... Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I'll, I'll ask that at the end. <laughs> so, this since we're talking about sports, somebody asked us, what will happen first? Someone scoring 100 points in the NBA or a team scoring 200 points in the NBA? What do you think will happen first in our lifetime? Somebody scoring 100 points. You think so? I think 200 is not that far Nigga, off. Luca just had fucking... No, he tweaked. Fuck he it. tweaked. He had like 73. 73. On like, like 30 shots. That shit, but them niggas wasn't playing no defense. I feel like a team... But if, then I don't know. Then 200 might be because there was a game the other day. What was this? It was the Pacers game. They scored like 130. 130, some. 150. They, don't got, they only had one all-star. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they only got one all-star. And they had another nigga on that team that gets like... This, this is what's going to happen. A team has to be able to nah, shoot. No, that 200 might happen because, like, uh, I feel like it might happen in, like, uh, the Olympic games. Cause yeah. sometimes we be playing some super mid. No, super, nah, he said, super they said mid. NBA, just NBA games. Oh, NBA. Um, t- uh. Like, at least two niggas have to have go for 40, 40, 40, 50. That and can it, be done. That two niggas gotta done. have 40, 50, and then everybody else has to even, like, you have to have maybe two niggas get 20, still, 10, 15, 50. You, niggas gonna have to shoot perfect sh- from the field, bro. I ain't gonna lie, niggas not gonna have to miss. The whole starting lineup gotta have a good, like, the whole starting lineup has to have plus 20, like, over 20 points. Yeah. And, like, somebody, two of those niggas gotta have at least 40, 50, and then off the bench, you gotta be like 10, 15, That's 12. a lot, though. That's a lot of points, but I think it will be possible because niggas in the, niggas in the All Star game get to what, like, 170, 180? Yeah. I feel like I feel like that would be more than a hundred. I feel like niggas niggas not gonna let you score a hundred on them. Yeah, no. Nah. It's like one person, a whole team. You can't stop a whole team, but one nigga, I don't know. Yeah, I think the two hundred. Two hundred, right? Yeah, two hundred. Yeah, that's that makes more sense. That's, that's crazy. Though. That is that would be wild. Luca did tweet the other day. Od, bro, shout out Luca, man. But the last question that I have from the segment is: somebody asked us, "What is the best tips for asking a girl out on a date?" And asking her to be your girl. What do you think? Great question, by the way. I love answering for the answer this for the it's people. It's easy, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. Is it really easy? Well, no, bro. I mean, you just... Wait, what was the question again? Say that again. <laughs> How Best tips on trying to ask a girl out and asking or asking her to be your girlfriend. Wait, what do you... Ask her like, out. How to, like, how to ask her but out. But I mean, date. wouldn't you ask a girl to be your girlfriend if she likes you already or yeah. or are like, you trying to get her to like you i think he's trying to what he means like trying to get her to like him oh so ask her out on a date like well yeah. i mean what's the best way first of all you know i think you should just 
you know, you got to get to know her first. Yeah. Like, you got to ask her, you know, you get get to know her, ask her what she like to do. Simple question. What does she do in her free time? Be you know, very like aware. And yeah. remember, remember things, so, small remember things. things she likes, you remember know, those, that, that'll take you a long way. That'll take you a long way. And then, um, like how long you think it, it should take a person to ask a girl out? Or you I think mean, there's no, there's no time limit depending on the person. I mean, yeah, I feel like it depends, you know, it depends on you and the person, you know, mm-hmm. like, um, cause I think it should be. Like, it shouldn't go further than, like, a week. Yeah, like, you know... Uh, if it, if the talking talking is going well. Like, uh-huh. if the conversation is going well. Yeah. But if if you also if you also mean that you want to, like, figure out how to approach a girl and, like, how to get them to like you, I, niggas be like, you got to be yourself. I don't want to say that because some niggas don't really have proper manners that people are expecting. Indeed. You know what I mean? So there's three things that shout out Collins, bro. I don't know if you're watching this, but you might see this clip. Shout out Collins. He told me when we was in high school. Shout out Collins. Girls only as long as you have two things, it will be a lot easier and for girls to like you and to get girls. So one, you have to have two or three things. You don't have to have all three. You have two to three things. Be handsome individual. Tell you shit. Be a handsome individual. Be funny. Or be able to speak to women. You know what I'm saying? You can have you can have all three, but you you need at least two of the three. Like you could like you you've seen a lot of all the infinity stones. You can't have all the infinity stones. Some of them, but it's like crazy. Like it's like this, right? You could um, you could be ugly, but if you're funny, yeah, Yeah, you and you can talk to talk to women, you're golden. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's all you need. Or you could be you can look you could be handsome and be funny. They'll like you. You be handsome. You can know how to talk to people. You could be uh. Whatever, but as long as you got those two, two out of the three, and it's like at the end of the day, you gotta be able to know how to treat a girl. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. If yeah, you wanna, that's really the biggest you know, thing. Don't listen to what these niggas, these red pill, blue pill niggas, be saying on. Uh, they be treating they women crazy. Yeah, they like, be treating women. Don't act like that. Like, like don't, even if you're. That's the thing. That's here's here's really what it is. Yeah. Even if your intentions are not to to have a girlfriend or make this girl your girlfriend that don't mean you don't gotta treat her like Shit. a human being like exactly you niggas don't be trying to go on dates niggas don't be trying to do nothing exactly. just get straight to business like it's okay to ask her how's her day going it's okay to take her out on a date yeah even if y'all don't work out it's mm-hmm. all right niggas always gonna say wasting my time wasting my money yeah unless you're given I hate when people say that. Unless you're giving a girl your actual bread, like yeah, that's just a- just just giving her bread just to give it to her, like there's nothing wrong with going on a date or paying for doing for paying day, for yeah. food, like yeah, that's just that's just what grown people do. Yeah, like, you don't gotta. You if you're not to- doing that, I could get it. You know, if you're in like high school or middle school and you don't got no jobs, yeah, or nothing like that. But like you know, if you older and you still talking about some. Mm-hmm. Some other shit like niggas don't be treating women like with How, respect and shit. Exactly, and it's Bro, all right. Shit. You don't ha- want to have a girlfriend, but you don't gotta tell her like treat her like she's a fucking object. Like, uh, real shit, real shit. To talk it's about, not bro. that deep. Then niggas mm-hmm. wonder why niggas girls don't, don't a, like them or exactly. something. Exactly. And it's like, it, like another thing. If you want some tips on how to ask a girl out to a date, first this this it's it starts with listening. Like Ish was yeah. saying, you gotta let you gotta find out stuff that she likes, but you also gotta listen to what she likes. Don't be good listeners because girls love to talk. Girls love to talk, bro. <laughs> so, no, no, no. Girls love to girls talk. Girls. So and they also talk, appreciate yeah, they when do. you do thoughtful things and pay attention to the small things. Always don't you don't gotta go all out, but as long as you pay attention to the little things, you can get a girl to like you. And I feel as though if you're talking to a girl, you should know by the first couple of days, like of talking, if Indeed. like the, if the conversations is cool, if the um she's texting back fast, if you guys are having nice smooth conversations, that should be a good indicator, like oh she's ready for you to ask her out, or and I feel like when you want to ask her to be your girl, you shouldn't ask her to be your girl like after the first date. That's kind of wild. You can't do all that. It should. You think there's a time limit, or you think there's no time limit? No. Nah, look, here's another thing too. Yeah. I feel like people. That's another thing this generation does too like 
stop chasing people like yeah like people like the and that's the thing too people this generation they be trying to be like chasing people or applying pressure mm. i don't know what the hell like that means i never grew up with that like if a girl likes you bro like you don't gotta have nothing you don't gotta have money you don't gotta mm. have you don't gotta fiend, you don't gotta be famous like she gonna like you for all, you, bro. all this stuff for i'm not saying nothing wrong with you know spoiling a woman or giving her what you want but like mm-hmm. if you doing all these things for her and she still don't see you for a nice dude like bro it's over. Just let it go. Yeah, just like, let it go, bro. Just it's go somewhere else with your time and your money. Like, it's other stuff in the seas, bro. Same thing for women too. If a guy you showing a guy mad attention, like, bro, somebody else is gonna, somebody else is gonna get you right. Like, exactly. There's always another. There's always somebody out there for you, bro. There's not. You just gotta keep looking. But if it's been like countless dubs and like you just haven't been getting straight with a girl you might have to look at yourself <laughs> i ain't gonna lie you might have to look at yourself because now it, it, yeah if it, now if you're just getting dubbed by you know every woman in the books you know maybe you gotta change your approach or if you're getting dubbed by every dude mm-hmm. maybe you gotta change your approach but like if something's not working you just gotta do something new you gotta it's, fix it's it that, you know it's that's that simple, simple. that's simple also be confident too girls love yeah confidence, definitely bro. confidence don't, even if you're not confident even if you're not like just be sure because girls saying, will bro. know if you're confident or not exactly. even if you're faking it they'll they at least be happy that you know you trying they smell that shit like like sharks and blood bro they, they do they can sense like you're not <laughs> who you say you they are they will press you too they, <laughs> they will, will press, press you they'll be like nigga you scared I'm like uh, a little bit <laughs> <laughs> a they little bit, you, but you can't let them know that. You can't let me? them know that, bro. You gotta have that heart, bro. So, I hope that helped, man. You know, we've been we've been on this earth for it's been on the, for a long time. Well, twenty five, twenty five quarter plus. centuries. You know, what I'm basically saying basically on the verge of an OG. Basically, yeah, you are on the verge. Basically, <laughs> I be feeling. Yo, is it me or I be feeling like <laughs> I be like I'm like behind. With uh, with where we're at, with where niggas at, and because of how old we are, or maybe that's just I'm how I'm definitely behind. Like I said, I don't be, I don't be watching sports like that. Yeah. I don't be, I just be for focused on school and mm-hmm. work. Not every, even behind on sports. Else. I mean, like just like life in general. Yeah, I mean, same thing. Like I don't pay attention. Like I just go to work and go to school and. Yeah, I, that's it. I'll just I be feel, locked in. I feel like social media is the reason. Cause I feel like we see mad niggas that's like young as fuck, that's like millionaires, and we expect yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm how saying. Social media is killing our minds. It's done key. a lot of stuff. You gotta just lock in with your life you and what you're in. doing. Like I, I really had to like tell myself like, yo, you know, it's not like you're not. It's not bad that you're not a uh, where you're at like at this point in your life. You know, like you gotta realize niggas take their own. They, they own paths, bro. Own path, own speed. That's the thing about like men, bro. Like, not saying girls, you know, girls take their own path too. Yeah. But I feel like they they stick around more with each other. Like, you know, when dudes try to lock in, you know, they really just mm-hmm. they still talk to one or two niggas on whenever they need to, but they really just be doing their own thing until they ready where they at. You feel me? Real like, shit, bro. Real shit. But thank y'all for the Q and A's, bro. We're gonna be doing this. We try to do this a lot more in the pod. We're so stay tuned on Instagram. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, follow us on no reg at no regulars dot podcast on Instagram. Try to get us to thirty k. We're almost at ten k on Instagram on uh YouTube. So Them follow QA up. Is tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a good segment, bro. Yeah. Shout out to all y'all people that ask us these questions. But uh, we got some cr- uh meat stuff to talk about about the world, bro. I heard World War Three is on the brink, bro. You mm. seen that shit? Yeah. I, I heard like. The uh, niggas in what was that Syria? Three soldiers got killed, and now yeah. Biden is like sending. Bro, somebody was from New Jersey. Really? One Yo, of those people. There's always somebody from something New Jersey. <laughs> we always in some shit. One of those people. It was a girl. I think really? she was from New Jersey. Yeah. Oh my Bro, gosh. They got we like always in some shit. Even when we not in nothing, we always in some shit. I ain't ready, bro. I, I've told you. I, I've been saying. I've said this maybe ten times on this pod. I'm not going to war, bro. I'm not bro, going to war. They gonna have to put me in, in jail. jail. Put me in jail, bro. I don't care. I'm not doing it. But I have a question to ask you, right? So yep. say. World War Three is World War Three has started and you're on the front lines, but you get to pick oh, your primary weapon and secondary weapon like it's Call of Duty. Tell you shit. What are you choosing? Um, 
can choose any weapon. You can choose Call of Duty weapons. You can choose AR. You can say like ARs, snipers. Damn, see, I don't be playing the game like that, so I don't know. I don't know the guns right now. But you can just say ARs. But I would definitely, I would definitely have uh, assault rifle. I'm gonna need to AR. Yeah. Yeah, and um. My second gun. Which is secondary. I really don't know. You gonna run around with the pistol? I can't run around with the pistol. I need some big shit, bro. But that's the thing, though. Like, I thought about it. I'm like, bro, that Call of Duty shit, like, <laughs> we really don't know how that shit is. Like, bro, like, I've been to the I've been to the gun range, like. Oh, really? You have? Like, the yeah, one in Union? Yeah. Like, that shit tough? And uh, AR is pretty fucking heavy, man. Is it man. really? Like, <laughs> that shit is pretty fucking heavy. So, like 30 uh, pounds type shit? That shit's like 20 plus pounds. <laughs> and then even if you got the holster, like that's cool. But like if you have another big ass gun, like I just thought about that. Holding <laughs> like Call of Duty is so fake. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like there's there's no way a nigga is holding an RPG in his backpack and, and a fucking assault rifle at this. And then he has a pistol. On. Like, that's mad shit. And then he has <laughs> grenades. Like, that's what I'm saying. But when they do have the LMG, they do be running slow. That's what an LMG. The shit is called the light machine gun. Shit is not light, though. <laughs> shit is big as hell and holds <laughs> mad bullets. Yeah. There's no way. Like, I don't know. It, it might just be an assault a rifle and pistol or maybe like a small, a SMG. small shotgun. Small shotgun, small prop. small shotty, or like a yeah, maybe like a small SMG or something. Yeah, this this is this is my loadout right here. I'm gonna get real specific with it too. <laughs> say real specific. I'm gonna need an AR, right? I don't know what type of AR. I don't, that I don't red dot. Yeah, I need nah, not the red dot. I need like a nah. I might need a red dot or a scope. Yeah, I need the red dot scope, but I need an attachment. I need that grenade launcher. Attachment. <laughs> I think it want to be a noob tube. Yes, I need the noob tube on deck, right <laughs> under the carriage. I need. That. What if the other team has a noob tube? Fuck it. I, I I need something. I don't want nothing where I want something where it's like good at good range, but I don't gotta be too close. Like I'm not like running in shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like cause you can get scoped from across yeah, the field. Nah. Like I was gonna say a sniper, but I was I, gonna say that too, but, but like that shit's tight. Bro, bro that it, recoil crazy. My shoulder's gone. Yeah, nah. My shoulder's gone, bro. And a sniper too, like that shit's big as fuck. Like you're just looking, you can't even see nothing. You're just looking in. Like somebody exactly. can Sneak Come behind me, you yeah. and just fucking yeah no sniping is only good like when you're trying to be quiet exactly and, and shit and if you're like on a, like at nighttime <coughs> or some shit I'm cool give me an AR with the with the attachment the noob tube attachment with the red dot and my secondary I need that MP5 with the red dot sight oh, like a hella specific MP5 no stock no stock on that shit bro so I could just run with it like a pistol I ain't gonna lie weird unpopular opinion but like. If Fortnite was real, I would totally do that shit. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, like as like a game? Yeah, but like, or as like, I would do it like, nah, like when you do won't it. die, or like, are you gonna die? <laughs> Cause I don't nah, think you, you gonna die, but <laughs> I, don't th- I don't think you're living, bro. I don't think you're living in Fortnite. Yeah, the niggas gonna outbuild me. They gonna fuck that. I'm playing. If I'm doing Fortnite, I'm doing no builds. <laughs> What? He said I'm doing no builds. What? Yeah. I'm going stupid though. I'm gonna yeah. get at least five plus kills at least. Nigga, that shit's five. basically like Hunger Games if you think about it. Fortnite is basically Hunger Games. Bro, it's literally the Hunger Games. It's the Hunger Games in a sense where you Fortnite's are, been lit though. You bro, me, they had a me bunch and Jay been playing updates. all the time. That shit's lit. That shit fun as hell. That shit's lit. But yo, oh my god, yo, you just remind me of a story I was gonna tell you. Freaking cause alright, so have you ever I think you watched this movie before, cause I feel like you put me onto it. You ever watched The Hunt? Hunt. Um, when uh, uh it's um, it sounds familiar. I think you'll like it. It's like a scary movie. It's like when what is it about? It's when uh, uh, it's like I watched a lot of movies. Like rich people would kid. It's when the rich people would kidnap like random civilians and they'll put they'll put them out in the woods and they'll hunt them down. I think you seen think that before? I, I, yeah, I think it's so. something like what happened like with the purge. Yeah, like if you remember the purge, uh-huh. bro. Do you know? That that's low key a thing, supposedly it's low key a thing that on oh, some Squid Games type shit, bro. Low key, niggas been saying that rich people have been like kidnapping either kids and like homeless people and like hunting them at their like cribs, like their estates, like in the woods and shit. Cause I seen on Twitter the other day, it was like a it was like a lady and she was talking about how some 
like the rich elite people like the Rothschilds, they'll have like a big like estate, like you know, like in like like a, the big mansions that are deep in the woods. It'll be like some shit like that. And what they'll do is they'll keep kids in cages and they'll put a parameter in the woods. So there's like the rich people are around them in the woods. And then when the when they let them go, they'll let the kids go and then the, the people will start hunting them down. And they was talking about some it's mostly kids. They was doing like with kids and like she was saying like they do it on the inside too, like inside the crib because it's a big crib, but it's for like they'll do it on the inside of the crib for the older people that can't run around too much, which I don't know if this is true, but the nigga Mike Tyson talked about it on a Joe Rogan podcast, like maybe like a year or two ago saying like, uh, what the rich people, the rich people, like the elite people that run everything, they would like take homeless people off the streets, give them drugs in the hospital and then let them free in the freaking, uh, in the wild, bro. And then hunt them, hunt them down. Imagine that shit is true. Hey bro. I watched, I watched so many freaking movies, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I just like they, I, I don't be knowing what to believe and what not to believe. I feel at like this they point. use. I be saying I think they use movies to tell us something. Like imagine. Well, I don't. Right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, be surprised though because it's like you gotta think about it. Like, not even to sound like a dickhead, but like mm-hmm. when you get a lot of money and stuff, especially a lot, a lot of money, a lot of money. Like, like they got when you have so sums. much money that you don't need to worry about your Anything. daily bite, your daily life. You know, your life in the future. Like you could just. You could spend, like, so much money today and you'll still be good. Like, when you have that much money, like... You just do shit. Like, even me, like, I'm not saying I've had that much money, but, like, when you get a lot of money, like, sometimes, you know, you be thinking, like, oh, what can I do now? Like, Mm -hmm. how can I make more money or how I could live a different lifestyle? Like, I got more money now and now I could do this. Like, Mm -hmm. when you've done so much... And you've had money for a long time. Like, it's like you get, you run out of like stuff to do. So niggas just start doing shit. So I'm not saying that gives the niggas, person yeah, the right of way right to just do, do some yeah, crazy nah. shit. Yeah. But I'm saying like, yeah. I understand because, you know, you, real. if you buy everything, you have everything already. Like, mm-hmm. life is going to get boring. Yeah. But you don't go around doing crazy shit. But like, I wouldn't be surprised. I would think of it like this. Cause like, you know, back in the olden days, they had like gladiators and they had people like, yeah, that's fight. what I'm saying. I feel like people that's the used same to thing. pay. Like it would be civilians that would go and, and watch, watch niggas kill each fight other, fight a fight a line or some exactly. shit, some, some crazy shit that you know is not possible. And like, I, f- I feel like that's like the same thing in a sense, but it's like over, it's low key. It's, it's like a, mean, it's like a ritual. It is, yeah, I, like like a family tradition. We'll say, like imagine Jeffrey Epstein. That's what the niggas was doing on the island, bro, and they got caught. Bro, I, f- I forgot. I watched this show on Netflix. Dang, dang, I really forgot what it's called. Was it about Jeffrey Epstein? No, nah, it was like, was it like dang, a- I forgot. It was like, it's it's gonna leave Netflix soon. So I used to watch it. It's only like eight episodes. It's called like, if it's only, it's only you or let me see, let me see, bro. Or you could look up like Netflix shows that's that's leaving soon or something like that. Yeah. Dang. Hold on. What but was it, it was about? about like this girl, right? She's trying to solve. Her, like, brother's murder. And it was just so many, like, twists and turns. Like, it's only... Wait, oh. um, You watched that? Jay, what was that that show we just finished watching? The shit with the... It was, like, a British girl, right? Yeah, Yeah, that shit was crazy. You watched that shit? Yeah, we just finished watching that. What was that shit called? The, um... I forgot what it was called. It was, like, It's Only Up To You. Some dumb shit. (sighs) What is that called, bro? That, but that shit was amazing. Yeah, my uh, girl put me on that shit. I was watching it like every episode. It was a plot twist. I'm like, nah. fool me once. Yeah, fool that shit once. was amazing. Fool me once. Fool me once. Fool me once. That I'm shit saying, was that shit was the hardest thing I watched. I'm like, nah. I'm saying, shit bro, was od. Them niggas was rich as fuck. Rich and as they fuck. did hella dirt grindy yes. shit, bro. So yes. You know, and they weren't even that compared to like the other niggas that they were talking spoiler. about. Spoiler. This is a spoiler. Yeah. But um, yeah. When she ended up. For the longest time, I'm like, she did not kill this nigga. Yeah. She did not kill this I didn't know who the fuck it was. Yes, I was so lost. lost. There's so much shit going on, bro. It was crazy. But in the end, I'm like, I get it why she She did did. it now. Yeah, it makes sense. Because the motherfuckers was corrupt. Yeah, bro. So I'm saying rich rich people be... Rich people just be doing shit, bro. Like, just imagine, right? Imagine that's what Jeffrey Epstein was doing on that island. Like, he had the kids and he was hunting them down, doing that crazy shit. And he was the the first niggas to get caught. Like, look... Everybody want to blame 
this Jeffrey do, but like I don't think the nigga the nigga had like two hundred yeah names of like people. So like, that's what I feel like yeah, it is his fault. But like I think he's a scapegoat, bro. Bro, there was he had a list of fucking three hundred names, like three hundred names, famous of people, famous people that everybody in the world knows. Like, yep. like yeah, it is his fault. It is his island and shit. But yo, everybody they saying mad names, and it's like, hey, bro, I'm. Don't I don't know. know what to say. I don't know what to believe, but that's crazy. Real shit, bro. But, hey, man. I don't know if this whole shit with the hunt is true. I think that's just a stretch, but I wouldn't look past it. I wouldn't I, be surprised. I like, wouldn't look past it, bro. Niggas is... There's a lot of sick people in this world, and a lot of sick people have money. It's crazy. There's yeah. A lot of sick people do have the money, so I wouldn't look past it. Especially homeless niggas. Bro, them niggas don't got no identity. That's what I'm saying. That that could easily be a case because nobody's looking for nobody homeless. Like. Exactly. They don't got no identity, bro. But... It's fucked up. What, so, I know you be watching a lot of movies. You've been watching... What was the, the newest movie you watched? If you remember. Um, The newest movie or the, that the, I the, have the watched. The last... The bet... Was it the last good movie you watched? Dang. Um, Cause I know you the movie guy, bro. You watch more movies than I do, bro. Dang, what the fuck? Like, do y'all go... Like, you go to the theaters and shit? Or you just watch at the crib? Um... Both sometimes, dang. Last thing I went to the theater, dang. What did I freaking watch? That shit was like a minute ago. Not too long, bro. I just watched some movies. I don't know. I be was forgetting. it scary? Was it a scary movie? I wanted to watch, um, that new scary movie. I was supposed to watch it. Uh, Ooh, the Nun Two. Yeah, I watched another scary movie before what. There was no scary movie that came out. It was like something. Apostle, some some oh, exorcist oh, movie. I know what you're talking about. Some like, exorcist. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit. That shit was good. I seen that. Wait, I think I know who you're talking about. It might have came out, maybe last Is that 2020, the... maybe December. Yeah. The exorcist. It was some exorcist movie. Is it but... this one? What's that shit? Apostle. I think so. It came out 2018. Where'd you watch it at? Um, did you watch it on Netflix or some shit? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Uh, the, yo, cause I asked you, cause there's this one movie, right? Yeah. There's this one movie that I heard that is the most dangerous and cursed movie in the world, bro. That no dangerous like, and cursed movie, dangerous and cursed movie in the world. Like it's something that like directors say, like you should, they, they classify it as dangerous. Like you shouldn't watch it. Like, People have died from watching this movie. Oh no! Yeah, it's crazy. Like the movie, it's called um, the movie's called Antrim. Have you ever heard of the movie Antrim? No. So, ba- so this movie it was created in 1979, and it was basically about a sister and a brother that accidentally dug a hole to like hell and shit. And supposedly, the movie is so like is is cursed. Like they there's a disclaimer before you watch the movie saying like watch with your own like. Like, regards, like, be careful watching this and shit like that. Because people have, like, supposedly died after watching it. Bro, they, in the 80s, right? They sent the, they sent the movies to, like, you know, film festivals and shit. Mm-hmm. And the directors that watched, like, the people who start, who was um in charge of the film festival, they've died after oh, watching nah. it. Bro, there was, I think it was in, like, 1980-something. Like, in the 80s, they had a, they filmed, they had the movie in a movie theater in Hungary. In Hungary. And as they was playing the movies... The movie theater caught on fire, and the shit collapsed, killed fifty six people. Sixty people is crazy, bro. Fifty six niggas died as soon just that one movie was and playing. The movie theater is crazy, bro. And then another time was in like the nineties, I think it was uh in San Francisco. It was the first time they played in America, and there was uh they was playing it in a the theater, and the people was getting anxious because they was getting scared and shit, and they went to the door, and the door was locked. And they started having riots because they was like panicking and shit. And niggas, I think like six, five to six people died because they got trampled. But I think what happened was that one of the workers tried to pull a prank on them and he put like LSD in the popcorn. Oh. And niggas, you know, that mixed with like the anxiety and shit. Yeah. Niggas started going, start Tripping tweaking, out. bro. Tripping. Like, and like I said, like it's a, I like, I like that curse shit, bro. I don't really like. I don't like getting deep diving into that because you know I'm a superstitious nigga, but fit, fifty six niggas there's, I, there's at least maybe seventy five people that die from watching this movie. They I think they banned it in a lot of countries because of how bad it is, how bad how much bad luck it is. 
Mm. So, hey, if you ever see that shit on the dark, <laughs> if if you, I'm this is like a, this is not even me telling, this is like a warning, my nigga. If you ever see that shit on the fucking like, how the fuck you spell that? A N T R U M T R yeah. Antrim, how you spell it. So if you ever see that shit, do not do not watch that shit. What does people. that mean? Is that a made up word? I don't know. I think it's like some. It's probably like something that has. So to the movie's with. about niggas that. They D- dug a hole to hell. Yeah, they dug a hole. Like, they did, like, a ritual. Dug so, a what? It's about... Like, demons and shit like that. And then that. they get to hell, and it's just hella crazy shit or some yeah. shit. It's like they... I guess, like, hella bad shit's happening to them. They see hella demons, demonic shit. Niggas want to watch it. Niggas is sick. <laughs> Niggas is sick. I can't watch that shit, bro. I low-key want to watch it. I can't... Nah, hell no, bro. But I don't want to watch it at nah. the same time. Like, I remember... I think I was talking to you before. Like, the scary movies nowadays haven't been really scary, That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. Like, anything... Like, I'm just so... I think everything is bullshit, like... you just at that point just, in life, bro. I'm just like... <laughs> like, I be watching stuff with my girl. She's like, oh my God, this is so scary. I'm like... Shit, Nigga, this shit so light. fucking fake. Like, so, this, is, this would never happen, like... But there are some things that have happened in scary movies. Like, The yeah, Conjuring. Like, yeah, like, even some stuff I do believe, you know, is is real and stuff. But, like, I don't know. It doesn't... Like... Like let me Like I'm I'm more scared of like real world stuff like any crazy disaster that's like the last thing mm-hmm. on my list like I'm scared of like you know sickness going broke and and dying of sickness <laughs> be- before I'm scared of like you yeah, know real shit, real some shit. demons or some some bullshit in yeah. a movie like Do you believe in like all that possession stuff like all that like ghosts and shit like that I mean I'm not really going to get into it cuz people got their own opinion Thing. on it but yeah. I mean I'm not saying it's not real, but I mean, I don't know if it's completely true. But I mean, I'm not saying know. it's it's not. But I think I think there's some other shit out there. Like you can like you think there's things that walk amongst us that we just can't see, like with our the, the naked eye and shit. That's possible. Yeah, I do. Cause I got there was another story I was um looking at on TikTok. There was a guy talking about it on the podcast. He was saying that. You know night vision goggles, goggles, right? Mm-hmm. You know how they're green. Yeah. So I guess before they were red, mm. like the first ever night vision goggles was created like 1930 by by some scientist, and he used like some chemical that he created called like dicinian or whatever, and it's supposedly supposed to like was better. It was better than these version of night vision goggles. Like it was supposed to help out. So I guess in like during the Vietnam War, they they used these goggles out for like the fighter pilots, not the fighter pilots, the the hel- the chopper gunners and yeah. stuff, and the people on the on the floor. And they said that the when they used the goggles, like they started shooting at the other helicopters. And when they brought them in, asking like, "Yo, why are you like shooting at you? Like you shooting at your own people? Like they're like, are you okay? Like you good mentally?" They said that they seen shit like flying in the air. Like they said they they proclaimed saying they seen demons and shit flying in the air. And that's what they were shooting at the whole time. And supposedly, like these, that chemical is able to see. It was like able to let, shit. like, uh, let you see things that you can't see with your eye. Like, it's, like you can see, like you know, everybody has like their own aura and glow to them. Yeah, these little that chemical is able let you see other people's aura and let you see other things that we can't see. Maybe like I don't know if that's like a dimensional thing, but they had to ban it because niggas they don't know what they like created because you can really see like nigga, there was a person that I think was using it and they said like you could see shit coming out your hands and you could see like some people don't have like certain auras to them like they don't have a glow like but you're supposed to have one and they think those people are like are the niggas that's like not real demons npcs yeah fakes so i believe it bro i do too hey man black mirror is low-key real what you mean, like the show? Like how? Hey, bro, they be speaking about some crazy shit on Black Mirror. Low key, some bro. shits be stretched. Yeah. Some shits be stretched <laughs> <laughs> all the way, but some shit is like, damn, nigga, what if that shit's real? Mm-hmm. Like that shit's that shit's crazy. I bro. think it is. Remember that one, that one episode where um they was like uh they had that thing where you go like playback memories in uh-huh. your mind, mm-hmm. like that shit could be bro, real, that bro. nigga. Is that What's the one where he got the... caught? Like he saw his girl cheating or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yep. but that Elon Musk shit is real, bro. That that nigga making that neural link or whatever. Yeah, he's trying, bro. I'm telling you, these niggas look at these shows. These shows are just trying to desensitize us for the new shit they're trying to create, bro. This shit not. This shit is real life, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You can't give niggas money because I ain't gonna lie. Niggas just gonna think lie. if I had some money, I would definitely be thinking about some. 
I'm some creating mind an Iron co- Man suit. Some mind control shit. Like, I promise you, if I had a billion dollars, I'm going to have an Iron Man suit. Niggas should have been made that shit. I know Jeff Bezos could have had like three Iron Man suits. Exactly, probably. like niggas, uh, bro. I feel like I feel like somebody, one person has it, but they just not. They just like it's like not working. Like that shit's that shit is like a prototype. Because if you have robots, you can make a suit. If you want to be honest, so I'm saying you can make a robot, nigga. Just make a suit, like, like, come on, bro. Like, just, niggas can make Jarvis, bro. Literally, niggas can make Jarvis, bro. Nigga, we got fucking Alexa and we got Siri and shit. AI, bro. Niggas, like, you Siri, make... bro. Siri, Siri is Jarvis. Okay. I think, yo, yo, <laughs> she's like a mid version though. <laughs> she's a mid version of Jarvis, bro. She's mid. definitely mid, very mid. Like, Jarvis she... knows everything. And we had Siri for a minute. Since, since when? Like since fucking 2012, like 2011, 20, maybe? 10 or some shit. Yeah. I think that's going on 10 mi- plus years. Like 14 years, bro, that we had Siri. So you tell me there's no Jarvis in the world? Come on, guys. Siri, Siri ain't been on shit since. Hell no. Alexa Loki taking her spot, bro. Nah. Alexa yeah. type scary, though. Cause Definitely. I heard that, heard that shit can hear all your conversations. That's why I, I unplugged my shit. Like, that shit, like, that's how yeah, niggas bro, be tapping in. Like, I don't, it's like I don't, I don't tap, trust bro. that shit. That shit is hella. It's connected to too much. There's a lot of things. It's, it's a lot of politicking, bro. Yeah. A lot of politicking. But I got I got one more story to tell you about before we go into the other segments. Because I thought it was pretty interesting. I know, I know you a scary movie guy, bro. Tell you shit. So, you know the Nightmare on Elm Street, right? Like, How do you feel about that movie? Um, That you think is as, like it's one of top, not top three, but like top five, like up there, like iconic wise with scary movies. I mean, yeah, definitely, yeah. But yeah. do you think it's a good? Is it? Do you think it's a good scary movie? I mean, me personally, now, like, Back, if I was to watch it, like, if they am make I a, gonna watch it to be scared? No, I'm not watching it to be scared. Like, if I watch it, I'm I'm probably just watching it for the nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. Or I just want the story's good. Like, yeah, like his character is a good story. You know, mm-hmm. cool powers. Yeah, yeah, it's a good story. You know. But Definitely, it's like, but it's not. It's 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 nothing crazy. Yeah, like it's fake. Like it's, I get you. He's not a real. It's fake. Like it's. If I know something's fake, like if I know, mm-hmm. it's fake. That's when, cause that's what really, that's that's what fear is. It, not knowing if something's fake, but not knowing not knowing what something is in general. That's mm-hmm. that's all fear is. Like, but what what if I tell you that that like that whole shit was based off like a true story. Like the Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street was based off of like a true story that happened in like the seventies. I think it was though. I think most of those things, mm-hmm. most of those guys, they're like based their stories. Like they might have like they exaggerate on like the powers and everything mm-hmm. that they can do. But, but yeah, I, no, I think all those stories are real. Like Michael Myers and Jason. In a I think, certain way. I think they are like. Somebody was probably them, but you know, mm-hmm. he wasn't like invincible and all nah. this extra shit. But I definitely believe it's something like it, ha- like they had to base it off of something. Yeah, like I don't, I believe it's yeah, it probably was you know mm. a, a crazy person or something. Yeah, definitely. So, did you ever hear the story about the Elm Street shit? Nah, so not ba- not like completely. Nah. So basically, right, the writer of the Nightmare on Elm Street, mm-hmm. he was reading the L.A. Times and he seen an article about. A Cambodian boy who died in his sleep, right? So basically, there was during the seventies. That's when I think a Cambodian boy and his family moved to L.A. from like the constant. The I think it's like <coughs> constant. I don't know if it's concentration camps, but like certain camps, like uh, in Cambodia. Like he moved to L.A. Yeah, and he said he told his parents that he's been having the same nightmare every day of something chasing after him, and he says it's been really real. Like he's, it's, it felt really real. Like he was uncomfortable. Like he said he did, he stopped sleeping mm-hmm. and he was really scared to go to sleep because he didn't like the dreams. And his parents kept telling him like, nah, like, you know, it's all good. Like it's whatever. Just like, it's not going to happen tonight. But he would never go to sleep. Like he would try not to go to sleep. Like he'll hide like coffee in his closet and he'll drink coffee every night to stay up until his parents got worried. So his parents I brought got a dream about that. Yo, I'm telling. I'm, t- I'm going to the hospital or something, bro. No he way. told his parents, but his parents didn't believe him. Damn. So his parents was like, you know, you need to sleep, or you're not going. You're going like, you know, you need to sleep. So they brought him to the doctor and they pres- prescribed him like, you know, sleeping medication. But he would like fake take it and spit it out. Yeah. Until one day he fell asleep on the couch because he was just so tired. And his parents brought him back up, took him off the couch, brought him to his room, and they all went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, they heard screaming. They go into his room. He's dead. On the bed, like they said, he died in his sleep, and the uh the autopsy came back, and they said there was no like, they don't know how he died, 
Literally, they, he didn't have no heart problems. He didn't have no disease, no, nothing. It's like he literally just died in his sleep. Mm. So whatever he was running after in his dream, probably caught up that to that nigga and killed that nigga, bro. So imagine. But like, how do, like, you know, autopsies, right? Autopsy, they're supposed to show you how niggas died. That that Dang, shit didn't come up with another, nothing. Another thing, too. I've been watching hella. Uh, what? Been watching hella, uh. With my girl, bro. See, when you get a girl, you just start watching. You just start watching all this shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Watching, uh, fucking. Is it the dark web shits? Nah, uh, Grey's Anatomy, bro. Ah. That fucking hospital yeah. shit. But, like, yeah, bro, nah. Like, I've been watching this shit lately. Like, good show. You though. just, you just see hella fucking shit how people die. Like, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. But, like, in your sleep, though, like, what? Like, there was yeah, no cause. That's very... That's scary, my nigga. What if the nigga is, was possessed? Yeah. Like, like that... If, if that happened to me or somebody that I knew, like, that would fuck my head up. Like, I would definitely be a crazy person. I would mm-hmm. be tripped out. Because like, then nobody believes you. Like, exactly. But you and my friend dying to sleep. And I'm like, nigga, how? Nigga, I don't know, I don't bro. know. He just did. He was healthy. That nigga's like, just gonna be yeah, like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you can't explain something... That's when shit gets weird. Mm-hmm. That's when shit gets really weird. But I feel like that's when the the freaking director or whatever, the writer, he seen that story. He's like, damn, that shit's crazy. And he that created a monster a behind it, bro. about that shit. Create a whole monster. That, nah. Freddy mm. Krueger, uh, is, you think he's the scariest one of the monsters, at least looking-wise, probably? Uh, I would say looking-wise, he might be. You know, that nigga looks crazy. That nigga's wild. That nigga look like he's just, like, melting. Yeah. All right, bro. But yeah, so I I was just looking at all. I've been looking at a lot of the scary movies. Like me and Jay been watching like that show you was talking about, which is a re- that is one of the best shows I've seen on yeah, this I'm year. Yeah, I'm not going to shit. I don't watch. So what did you suspect in that from that show, bro? I thought. Spoiler alert, people! So you can skip this. I one. don't know. Like towards the end, I had a feeling she did the shit, but like I was still like I didn't know why. Like I knew the. They were rich and stuff, mm-hmm. but like it was so many twists and turns. That's why I said that was an amazing. That was an am- like. That's why I like stuff to watch. Like makes you think. Like yeah, like I don't. That's why I don't like reality TV. I don't give a fuck about cartoons no more. Like it's cool for when you're younger. When you're younger, because your mind is developing. But like my mind's developed now. I want to see some crazy shit i want something to make mm-hmm. me think like why is this happening and shit you, like you know i think you should watch i don't know if you ever watch it's called like Gla- the glass onion or whatever that uh mystery movie i forgot what it's called i think let me let me see if i remember. Nah, what's that it's like it's similar it's like a murder mystery movie i think you'll like it i forgot let me see what it's called like i like shit that knives makes out me think knives out i heard of that yeah but... i think you'll like that movie you'll really like that shit yeah watch that you watch the like first... i watched how to get away with murder that really shit was... that's a movie or a tv no nah, it's a TV show, but it came out a couple years ago. It's like a couple seasons, but that shit's amazing. Wait, like, is that the one where it's like how like convicts like escaped or some shit? No, nah, how to get away with, with murder. It's that you know that shit with that black that black lady. She's like a lawyer. Oh wait, and she's helping all the other young lawyers. Like oh, they're, I'd they're becoming this lawyers and shit. Yeah, it's I've seen old. This Shit. The it's the girl that plays um that she's in she's the black lady I forgot her name but she, yeah she plays in yeah. like every m- movie she mm. plays in a lot of shit but well, I remember this that shit's old but good show you know so you, you learn a lot about laws and lawyers and bullshit and so would you say you like a more suspenseful like mystery type of nigga to watch it yeah you know? I like suspenseful stuff I mean I like all genres I like to watch something funny every now and then yeah but like go to I like. Mystery shit and like scary stuff. It's like shit that really. makes you think. Yeah, like, I like that too. I like shit where it ties in. Yeah, and Netflix. A hey, Netflix has been having a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Now you've seen wrestling's going to Netflix. They signed a deal to them. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Netflix is really making that bread. Five got- billion dollars. So does that mean that they're gonna be streaming wrestling? That means like they're no. Raw is no longer on TV. You gotta have Netflix oh, you have to, to oh, watch Raw. That's fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. Which is so smart. That's it smart is as smart. Fuck. But a lot of because you know a lot of that's gonna really force mad niggas to buy Netflix. Yeah. I never had net. Damn, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Most people, I mean, not everybody, but most people nowadays I have, have Netflix, Netflix. So, yeah. damn, that's that price gonna be up. Bro. That's all the little kids that used to watch TV. I mean, a lot of people. 
have cable, but a lot of people don't have cable nowadays. But everybody that does, they they gonna need to get Netflix now. Or whatever. Damn, that's why. So did um did the WWE pay Netflix or Netflix paid the WWE five billion? No, I think Netflix paid WWE. That's OD, bro. Cause but it's only Raw though. So Smack, I think SmackDown is still on TV and okay. shit. But, but like that's just the first part, bro. You just need one yes, domino to fall. Yeah, SmackDown might go too mm-hmm. eventually. You think you think UFC? If UFC goes on there, I'm definitely getting that shit. I, that'll make Man, it- I don't know, but if it, because UFC makes a lot of money on its own. Yeah. I don't know if they really need Netflix, but if they do, oh yeah, I'm totally tuning in because that means. With the that's the only good thing about Netflix. Like that means. The pay per view shits, uh-huh. you don't have to pay. That's what I'm thinking. But you I'll, don't have to pay for. They well, might, I don't know. They might they have, still might have the pay per views on TV or some weird shit. What I think if it's on Netflix, I would think since it's just raw, I don't think they'll have it on Netflix. But I feel like if they will have all the WD, WWE on Netflix, they'll like have like a another tier Probably, where if you pay extra, because there's already tiers in Netflix now. I don't mm-hmm. know. I haven't checked it, but there's definitely like tiers. Now, like how many people you could share on your shit, yeah. all this other they, they shit. They caught my ass, bro. For the last five years, I've been using Jay's account. They got my ass. They signed me out, and I can't even sign back in no more. Shit hurts, bro. Shit That's hurts. what I'm saying. It's so annoying. It's shit. so annoying. Shit sucks, bro. But all right, I got some. I got some. Would you rather questions for you, my brother? Yeah. And then we got a game that we can play afterwards. All, all right. right. So, would you rather for a hundred million dollars? Hundred mil. And you will fully recover. Be oh. attacked by a bear, oh. or be stung by five, be, or be stung five hundred times by bees. Damn. You'll fully recover. Damn it. Um. Low key, give me that bear, bro. Not nah. Gonna... Give me, give me them, give me them bees, cause. Think about how many bees. That's a lot of bees. That shit gonna burn. You gonna feel like you on fire. Bruh. At least the bear, he might just bite my arm, bro. A bear, a bear can swipe the shit out of you. Yeah. But his 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 paw is probably gonna be like the size of your face. His paw. Yeah. If he slaps you, he can like take your face off. But look, <laughs> you're gonna I'm you're gonna you're gonna look ugly as shit <laughs> after. Boy. Look, look, look. You're gonna look. you're gonna be looking like Freddy Cougar, my boy. <laughs> look, look. Think that. about it. all I need to do is just protect my face. Bro, bee stings. You go, nigga, five hundred. Your face is just gonna be like swollen, but like nigga, I'd go, rather it be swollen than it be cut off. Bro, five hundred bees is covering your entire body. Not, and what if it's not? Think bro, about what it. if I have a hoodie on? Like the fuck that mean? You still gonna get stung, bro? Either way, you gonna get. <laughs> what stung. What if I have like a jacket on, bro? Nah. You what got, if I have a bee suit? No, you're gonna you're gonna feel them <laughs> stings, bro. You got you have to get stung five hundred <laughs> times by bees. You're gonna feel like you're on fire bro, everywhere. I'm, I'm taking the bees. Are you allergic? What Have you ever got stung by a bee? Yeah, it actually hurts a lot. Yes, I imagine that five hundred times. Nigga, I've I never got hit by a bear, but I don't want to get hit by a bear. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, yo, all I gotta do, bro, is he just survive could slap them. you. He doesn't even have to eat you. With okay, his, with his, he can hit his fucking. It's just hand. an, it's just an attack. He can hit me one time and then just go away. I'm good. Now ah, I just got scratch on my arm. And then recover. But what if it's that one time he like he, he's trying to maul me? Slashes you in your fucking. Poke the eyes out immediately. Poke the eyes out, and then you're good. Now he's now he's a bitch. Nah, I'm I'm taking them bees. Taking I'm, the bees. I'm, I'm nah. jumping in the I'm jumping in the a water or something. Nigga says he's jumping in the water. Nigga's gonna be burning like hell, bro. <laughs> nigga gonna have bee stings on your nah, ass. I heard crazy stories about bees though. Like I heard niggas, like they will really chase. Chase. That's why like- they say for some weird shit. I don't know what this generation is, but they say every animal. I feel like they say it's about every animal. Uh-huh. Every animal, they just say sit there and just let it. Let it happen. Besides, like a uh, a a black bear or some other small animals, they'd be like, you should try to fight it off or something. But I think they said fight a black bear. Not yeah, a black bear, bear grizzly, bear. grizzly bear. They just said, I don't know, probably get low or be quiet or yeah. something. But like bees, I heard you. They say you just gotta let them sting you or whatever. But it's like I think I'm running. I heard they've they've chased people before. And people have jumped in the water, and they've waited for people. Like, like just hovering? Yeah. Nah, see, that's I, I, that's crazy, bro. That's sick. I would dive, swim down to the bottom of wherever I'm at. And hide? And hold my breath for, like, a couple 
as long as I could. Imagine you go up and then you start sticking your face like, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go back down. And <laughs> I'm gonna go good. back you down. Keep, pop your head up and just sting, sting. That's sick, bro. That is. Nah, this is what I'm saying. These animals, low key, God nerfed a lot of these animals because they could really fuck us up. Nah, super. If they just had more like mind power, and because that's the thing, most animals, you know, they they just run off instinct. Like, uh-huh. like I'm supposed to kill you. I'm supposed to eat you. Like they don't think about how can I kill you. How can I? Some animals do though. Some, some. Like some. I feel like. Like, I feel like one of the smartest animals is, like, what, dolphins? Yeah. I, I mean, it's have... a lot of s- sea creatures that are really, like, the smartest. Like, have you ever heard of, like, that one lady that filled up her whole crib of water to try to s- learn how to speak to a dolphin? No. Bro, the woman literally, she like... M- she made a pool in her crib. Like, a, no, like, li- like think she about... flooded her house. Flooded her entire house, and, like, the dolphin would be swimming in and out the crib, and, like, she'll just be, like, trying to, like have conversation with them and try to like teach them things. But I guess like the dolphin, I forgot what happened. I think the dolphin was starting to become sick, like either trying to like do some crazy shit to her, like try to set her up. But it was like, like a, it was like some weird experiment to, to see like if we could communicate with an animal. Cause the dolphin's the closest one. And it was just getting like real dark. Like the dolphin was starting to do shit that niggas didn't think it would do. Start plotting on this girl. Start like att- like attacking her or some shit. Cause he was like tired of this shit. Hey, bro. I say animals know, bro. They know. They have feelings and stuff. Like think about People it. People be trying to say they don't. Like think about it, bro. Like orca whales, bro. Nah, they definitely they they are they are next level, bro. Them they- shits was. Attacking ships and stuff. They're attacking shit, but these niggas are smart, bro. I heard like they be saying like sinking a ship. Like, it's you know crazy. How strong you have to be to sink a ship. A fucking animal. I don't give a fuck how many animals. A ship niggas, is big. A ship is thousands of tons of metal. Like and they're knocking that shit over, bro. And they're making that shit sink. And they be wondering. And I know, like, I feel like we shouldn't be having certain animals in zoos because they could really kill us. Not just because they are capable, but just because they they're mentally would do it. Cause I know, like you know how orcas be killing niggas all the time and shit. Yeah, bro, I heard like you know orca, orcas don't kill niggas outside the, outside of in the wild and shit. Yeah, no, nah, it's just in. It's in like they're in prison, bro. my nigga. Yeah, they know. Like that's bro, like slavery. Even if they grow up in, even if they grow up in captivity. Yeah, all they know is captivity, but they know that. They still know that there is more like out there. And then we just keep. They know this bro. is not what their final thing is. Like they know, like they just need, they just need a breaking point. And then they're gonna. Dra- that, that's a terrible death too. They drag you by the ankles and drown you. That's, that's sick. terrible. Hell no, bro. Hell no. All right, I got another would you rather question, bro. So, I actually got this from another podcast I've listened to a lot. So they said it said, "Would you rather never be able to wipe your butt in the same room you take a shit in, or?" Have one bi- have one butt cheek larger than the other one, so I'm talking about like one of your ass cheeks is mad little and one of your ass cheeks is like BBL type shit. So wait, not why wait what? So when you take a shit, you can't wipe your ass in the same room you just took a shit in. So when you when you take a shit in the bathroom, you have to leave that bathroom to wipe your ass. Um. Oh yeah, I'm easily doing that. No, nigga, what? That's nasty. You gonna get up? Your butt got doodle <laughs> in your ass. You got doodle in your ass. Bro, you gonna have a BBL is what you telling me? Yes. <laughs> yo, think yo, 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 think about it, bro. Think about it. You are at somebody else's crib taking a shit. Where you gotta crazy. leave that room. That you gotta is leave crazy. The, you gotta leave the bathroom to go wipe your ass. That's wild. That's wild. That's crazy work. That's crazy. I'm telling you, bro, just one hey, ass. Hey, niggas cheek. gonna have to have the BBL. That's crazy. Just one booty cheek. One big booty cheek. Hey, that shit gonna look funny. Like, I'm going to be sitting lopsided as fuck like this. Like this. But imagine. Man, I, All right, yeah, I might have to take, I might have to do that. Because I ain't going to lie, bro. That's crazy. I, I, like, do you use the, do you take, do you take shits in like public area, in public restrooms? I try not to, but. If you have to. I have to, then yeah, so I'm I can't sick. do that. That's so I'm wild. I'm going out in the restaurant and then I got to just. You you walk out and wipe crazy. your ass. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy work. Yeah, I need that butt, that butt cheek. <laughs> I don't want it, but hey. Nigga needs the butt cheek. All right. Uh, so I got another would you rather. So would you rather have a two-minute time limit for one of these things? But So say after that two-minute time limit is over, then you'll feel excruciating pain until you leave. Ooh. So it's while you're taking a shower 
<coughs> or while you're taking a dump. You have a two minute time limit. So if you go over two minutes while you're taking a dump, <coughs> you feel excruciating pain. Um, either taking a shower or taking a dump. That's a hard question for niggas. Nah, take taking a take, <laughs> taking a dump. Really? Because I'll be taking long ass showers. Like, there's no way. Nah, nah. You know, I I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing the showers, bro. I don't want to, cause, cause for one, bro, f- fellas, I know, you, I don't know, if, I don't know if this is just a normal thing, normal nigga thing, or it's just me. Hmm. Taking the shit is like the most peaceful time yeah. that you can ever have as a man, bro. Taking the shit, ladies, if you want, you wonder why your nigga in the bathroom so long. That's why he just that's just, taking the shit is just so peaceful. I need that peace, bro. Sometimes I just it do be peace. It do be peace with just sitting there on your phone. Nick, I know you've been on your sitting of on the course, toilet the and time. your leg fall asleep every morning. Every morning it happens, but so I I need that like uh, be ten in, plus I'd minutes. I be in the bro. shower way way longer than I be on the toilet though. Really? Like how long you take shower for? My showers at least be thirty. They at least be ten minutes plus all the time. Nigga, my shower. Time. My showers be at least. My, my mom be having. My mom be tweaking. She has like a little thing on the shower that it'll turn to cold water. That's what I'm saying. My should be going quick because oh I'd really? Be use, I be using that shit up. Bro, I I need I need. I, I need my, my toilet time, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I need, need my toilet I need the toilet time. I know it may be bad. Like, niggas shower. Like, a two-minute shower, you can have a two... That that will make me have more shit to do for the day. You know what I'm saying? I need... I, I'm a busy man, so I need to do shit quickly. I, I need that shitting time for peace, bro. Shower is like, eh, it's whatever. Type shit. Type shit. But, all right. You have anything you want to talk about? Or you want to go into this one last thing before I end the pod? Got anything? Um, No, nah, you can get into that. To whatever you about to say. All right. So since it's not Black History Month yet, but when this pod drops, it will be Black History Month. Happy Black History Month, people. If you see your closest black friend, tell them, tell them you love them. Your closest black friend. So you know me and you are upon the black African descent. Type shit. So type shit. I have a little top five question to ask you to see if you can name the top five countries with the most black people outside mm. of Africa. Where do you think they'll be the most black people at? Um, where would you think the bl- the brothers are are at, ma'am? Would you like? S- I mean, uh, what's it called? So what? The USA? It would be like it would be one thing. As yeah, itself. the USA is a country. Yep. Um, I definitely say that's that's. I don't. It have to be in the order. No, I'll I'll, any- I'll tell you. You give me just you give me a country, and then I'll tell you what if it's on the list or not. Definitely USA. USA is number four. Number four, okay. That's crazy. Um, it's not top five. <laughs> or not top three. Not top three is crazy. Yeah. Um I feel like we have a lot of black for you. It's the white white people is taking over. Type shit. Uh so besides Africa. I mean there's my there's niggas everywhere. You want you want today. some you want some hints? Uh yeah. Top three are all in South America. So think South America. So South America has more niggas than North America. Yep. I mean, I believe it. That's what I'm saying. As in like don't don't think of it as in like black like people? how we see but think of it like, like minority African, and African descent, so like darker people. So they're African descent, but they are still black. They may not speak English or Af- uh, like, what about like what about the Caribbean? Like would it it has to be a country from the Caribbean or is the Caribbean could be one Not thing? on top 5. There is countries like Haiti and PR, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, things of that nature. Do you want to? You want another hint? So you said, wait, what was the what was the hint before? You said it's in South. The top three are all in South America. All in South America. All in South America. Shit, like a lot of brothers down in South America. The slave trade is wild. That's what I'm saying. But then half the motherfuckers don't even be knowing they fucking is black though. I and know. Stuff. They think they're, you know, whatever country they are. Mm-hmm. I mean, but they are. But they're dark. They're, they're dark, dark as fuck. They're darker than me and mm-hmm. shit. And they telling me they're not. All right. Uh, Do you want another hint? Yeah. So, one of these countries, one of these countries is really good in soccer. Brazil? Brazil is number one. The most the, black people? The most black people outside of Africa is Brazil. Wow. That's crazy because Brazilians... Brazilians, they I are dark. I though. ain't even going. 
talk shit about them, but they, <laughs> but they don't. They will say they Brazilian, like yeah. I mean they are, but like it's, nigga, you darker than me, cause yeah. like. But it's like it's like saying like black people here say they're American. Yeah. And it's like you know in Dominican Republic they be having the niggas it's that look African way. and speak Spanish. Same it's way, like that, yeah. bro. But th- I mean, I believe that though. Brazil, I mean, definitely a lot of lot minorities dark, yep. and niggas is dark in Brazil. Yeah, everybody mm-hmm. dark as fuck. So dang Brazil, that's crazy. Brazil's right. number one. So, USA number four. Brazil, USA. Um, damn, what the fuck? You said three of them are in South, South America. America. One is in Central America. Oh, maybe uh Belize. Ah, close. Nah, not Belize. Belize, cause I got family. F- from Belize, actually. Really? Like they live? So wait, that's like. Part- it's my uh. It's not really my f- family. It's like my dad's half brothers and stuff. Yeah, like ah. like his dad is from Belize and shit. Yeah, they they got land over there. And that's shit. tough. You ever been there? Or you ever? Nah, go? I want to go. That shit. I feel like shit's nice. That shit's nice. I remember. You ever watch yeah. that movie? Uh, you ever watch that TV show on Nickelodeon Endurance? Yeah, they like, they went to Belize, bro. That well, shit was nice lot as fuck. Sh- lot of shit be happening over there though. Shit is crazy. Like wake, like uh, drugs. Like and shit? drugs. Oh, yeah, shit. shit's I mean, shit's shit's crazy over there. But it's nice though. That's nice. tough. That's tough. I definitely want to go. But um, the one in Central America is very close to the United States. Very close. Well, um, some may say borders the United Costa States. Costa Rica, some shit. Nope. Fucking Honduras. Nope. Has that? No. Um, Closer. They might. Some may say it borders us. I don't really. I'm not too familiar. I think with Central you, America. If you you wanna if you wanna look up a map, you can look up a map. Yeah. Let me but see. I'm telling you, you're right on the cusp. A little way more north. Let me. I think. See. Oh wait, is that part of Central America? It might be part of North America. But it's a Spanish country. Spanish country in North America. I think it's. I don't know if that's classified as North America. Tell, let me know in the comments, people, if you get to the, if you get this far. If you get this far, let me know if um. What he's about to say is part of North America. Panama. Nope. Further up. The fuck. It's a very big country. A lot of people. We eat food from there. Very good food. Has a lot of influence on us. What Mexico? Yeah, Mexico's number no. five, bro. <laughs> Mexico has niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. What the fuck? Mexico's number five, bro. Mexico got the black people, bro. So all you need is number two and three. So if you want to look up at a so you tell map me of South America, they're all in South America. Two and three. Mexico. One has of them more is more niggas than us. One of them is no Mexico is less. We're we're ahead of Mexico, oh, but we're not ahead crazy. of Brazil. And these two countries, one of the Brazil countries has more niggas than us. One of the countries is very I mean, well known. There's hella states which is straight straight a lot of Caucasian people. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Nigga, half of the West Coast is white. Yeah. So it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, most of them states there's black people everywhere, but nah. majority majority of them states are white. And those more, are the, those are the big states. Republican states. Uh huh. So. And what else? Oh, so the, the two, one of is very known country. One is, is pretty m- well known, but it's like, you got to look. Like one of them is like, has a lot of drug problems. Very known for the Columbia? drug. Columbia? Yep. Columbia is number two. Niggas? Yep. It's crazy, it's crazy. work. All, all these, all these countries really don't be claiming niggas too, which is crazy. It's wild. And number, you're just missing number three. It's very, I would say... Let me see. Let me see on the map where it's by. I feel. I think they have a pretty good soccer team. Flag. Their flag is yellow, blue, and red. They have. Uh, they're they're in the north, so they're north of Colombia. North of Colombia, north of South America, the one of the northern parts. Like they're right by, the uh, Caribbean Ocean. Um, if you want to look at a map, you said where is it? Right, it's way north, like right one of the first countries by the Caribbean Sea, in South America. It's right above Colombia, and what is this? Right by damn Brazil is fucking huge. That's what I'm saying. It makes sense. 
it's by it's it's uh north of Brazil. It's like it's, Brazil is like more than half the United States, like yeah, just by itself. I didn't realize how big this place was. But yeah, it's one of the biggest it's one of the most northern countries in South America. Very nice Ar- country. Argentina? Nope. A little more way uh, more north than that. A little more, more north. North than that. It is Guyana? Close. Getting closer. Fucking Uruguay, fucking A little more more north than Guyana. Bolivia, fucking More Venezuela. North. Fuck. Venezuela is number three, bro. Venezuela. Venezuela. But it, look, it kind of makes sense. Bro, like, I've met people from Venezuela. They do not look like me, bro. Are they, do they white? Yes. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Hey, bro, like, they, got, they probably got the... They got more niggas. It's yeah, crazy. in the trenches, bro. I don't know where this demographic came from. It was from Fox, so... I don't know if Fox is trying to lie to me. All these Spanish countries. That's what I'm saying. Do you do your homework on Spanish people, bro? And them not claiming they real roots, bro. Do they your really. Homework. It's all Spanish people. Technically they just, black. He just named three. Well, Brazil. They speak Portuguese, but I mean Portuguese is similar to Spanish. Like you get what I'm saying. Portugal like, is right next to Spain. Motherfuckers bro. don't want to be niggas, bro. Like damn. It's t- y'all be racist. It's okay. To the black it's you okay. Are- we are the best. Like it's you are all right. black. You are black. You lucky we ain't giving you a freaking... It's, it's Black History Month, people. All y'all should be... And it's an extra day. It's a leap year this year. So now it's extra. An extra day of Black History Month. Freaking... My, when I was a kid, my dad used to... um, He used to make me do uh, like tests. Like test me each week on like different like black hist- black historical figures. Hey, bro. You got you to gotta be known, You got to know your history. My black my black people. Do your bro. homework. Do your homework on your history, bro. Do your homework on um, MLK. Do your homework on Malcolm X. Really shooting niggas for real, bro. But he didn't Everything. get to shoot niggas because they got he got got. <laughs> but tough. Do your homework on the Black Samurai, the first Black Samurai in Japan, and niggas didn't make a movie about him, but they make a movie about uh, everybody else. Do your homework on that, bro. <laughs> and do it different when niggas don't like the black people. But you got anything else you want to say before we end the pod, my brother? Uh, you know it's always great times when you're on the pod, man. Hey, bro, just. I hope you influence somebody to. Be that's, a vegetarian. That's all I I'm do. I'm proud bro. of you, bro. That's great, bro. That you is... gotta do do whatever suits your lifestyle. But hey, bro, if you wanna if you wanna live that good life, that healthy life, or sustain as least amount of health problems as possible, bro. Hey, as long as we can, you can't control cancer and stuff. You know, even yeah. the healthiest people get cancer. But at least you could say you did the you best did your you best yeah you know real shit you can't shit. say i didn't damn you won't have you won't live life on regret if you do get sick you'll be like hey bro i tried i, I tried everything i could you know real shit like, real shit That's it tough, happens bro. you just gotta do your best hey bro i'm happy That's for it. you bro i'm glad man i'm like glad you follow in a healthy way maybe i'll be there one day <laughs> i'm gonna try but that food, food just be too good. busting bro shit do be busting food it be do too hit busting. different but you got anything else last any last words uh, or those were your last words that's it bro that's tough thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of no records podcast episode number 125 if you're new One, to the two, channel five. subscribe like the video i said 50 likes or this nigga ish is gonna come to your crib and take all the meat from your house pause and now you're going to be stuck and eating. I'm throwing it out. Throwing it out, burning it in your front lawn. We need 50 likes by the end of the week. Y'all been doing <laughs> that last three pods. I need another one. Shout out to all another y'all, one. man. Another, another one. one. Shout out again to Bottle Joy for sponsoring the podcast. Code in bio soon. TikTok shop also. TikTok affiliates and things of that nature. Get you a Bottle Joy. These are, look at this. This shit not plastic, bro. This could, you could kill somebody with this shit. <laughs> this is like a coconut, bro. Look, it got you got grips on it. Pause. You got a little handle. It comes with a satchel. You can make it like a little uh, what's that shit called? Like a little hand purse. It got everything, bro. Little suction cups on the bottom. Get you a bottle joint. Shout out to y'all. Different colors, different animals and shit. But yeah, man, we different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta.